Okay, so I bought this game like two weeks ago, right? And like it was $20, which is a little bit more than it should be, a little overpriced because it was initially $10 for quite a long time. But I'm like, whatever. Okay, I'll just pay for it. That's just fine because it supports the developers. So I'm not that upset about it. No joke, the fucking next day is when the Definitive Edition gets announced. Thanks. You little thief. Stop. Stop! Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. Oh, he stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch. Idiots. Let's go, guys. Thanks, Brad. Hey, you better thank me a little shit. Damn, Sam doesn't even have an HOA. Oh. That's a pleasant home. How much do you think that's worth? About two dollars on the market? Olathe. It's perfect. It's really not. I just got my shit kicked in, and right next to you is a house that probably on its own brings down the property value of the entire city. Oh my god, it's a potato in a blanket. Hey, you there. This wild beast won't leave me alone. Oh, um, yeah, it's real wild. I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree. Dude, what the fuck? Were you, like, jerking it or something? Well, give me a hand, will you? Nah. Whoa, my friend. Don't leave me hanging. Fine. Twelve seconds later. You're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like maybe you can handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? <laughs> no, I'm a pussy. Wait, I would have helped, like I said, it hurt my age string. I'm Terry Hits. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. Oh, you're one of those people. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. That's nice. Wait. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool, it's settled. Cool. If this balloon wasn't here, you would walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. We'll make a better party member. Secrets out, Brad. She's gone. Sorry, guy. There's something I gotta do. Alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. Come on, bro. Let's look serious. Someone close to me is missing. I need to find that person. That's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I don't. I'll tag along, I guess. Considering I'm a very strong warrior. <laughs> I would still choose the balloon. Alright, what you want? Out of my way. I want that little bitch all to myself. I mean, Terry, you can have him. You know what? Let's 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 be a little more open-minded. Let's see what Terry can do. Fantastic. Well, maybe let's see he's got some other skills. Sure, let's try that one. You are officially prohibited from doing anything ever again. Alright, I think. Yeah, there it is. Look at me figuring out how to fucking do basic shit. Aren't you proud of me? Can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. Well, fuck you too. 
I'm a fabulous girl. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Okay, nothing useful then. Hey! I'm not dead yet, you prick! Come here so I can kick your ass! Alright then. Yeah, that's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap! Twelve seconds later. Very good use of time. Let's go search around in case she's already been through here. You got it, boss. Sugar Boy Drifters, out! Oh, I think I found the name of my next punk band. Is this a joke, bald man? You think you can handle what's going on out there? Hm. I'll give you a taste. Well, it's Sugar Mountain, so I'm sure it's gonna be pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm just as astounded by Terry's stupidity. Damn, the one thing he's mildly useful at, and he failed at it three fucking times in a row. Terry, you are now officially prohibited from ever doing anything. Holla, holla. If you hear me. Do I need to get off the top of my chest? Oh, that didn't take very long. Choose wisely what you give us. Hmm. Terry kind of sucks, but I'm not that heartless. Hmm. How boring. All right, boys, strip him quickly. I hear tale that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. I hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn. First my hamstring. Now this. You're bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Still would rather choose the balloon. Oh, that's comforting. Oh, that's really comforting. What do you have to say? Seems like a storm is brewing around here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of me soup. Also, you can, if you need to rest, you can use my tent. That's awfully generous of you. I think I will take a reasonable portion of four fucking bottles, and we'll set up camp for the night. I'm sure absolutely nothing bad is gonna happen. Yo, bro, why is your house surrounded by cum stains? Alright, let's check out what's up here. Look like a friendly fellow. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've got a wealth of knowledge about what Olathe and what happened. Many tales. Would you like to hear? Hmm. Wish I was a little more enthusiastic. Oh well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. Oh right, I'll start with the, what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Or wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle. Oh, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put ice in the glass. Ay, ay, ay. At this point, I'd already suppressed the urge, urge to intimacy, rolled over, and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only a minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Fascinating. I can tell by the way you're walking away, you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Once upon a hot summer night, sometimes.
tongue lashing. Are you done? Jeez, you're kind of smothering me. I'll talk to you later. Well, it seems like there was nothing of value up there, so let's just move on. Oh, hi. Funny seeing you here. What, do you follow me or something? Ho oh, oh. ho. Anyway. when I noticed some. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but bigger champion choose. I think I'll stick around. I got many a tale to tell. Lovely. Anyways, after that, I think I need a drink. I'm gonna get absolutely plastered. Well, I can't with this guy distracting me. Yo, what's happening, my man? You got a couple mags for me? I'll run with your pack, brother. Uh, eh, a little too much for me. I'll be waiting, my man. Uh, you seem much nicer. I have little interest in scandalous magazines. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. It's all this world has to offer anymore. Yeah, why not? Fantastic. So what's your story, bald man? I'm looking for someone. Seems a lot of people are doing that recently. Anyone specific? I should go. Hold on. I don't want to pry into your business. But you got another thing coming if you think you can do this on your own. War's going on. You're gonna need allies. Besides, I owe you a drink. Well, I already paid the 20 for him, so why not? Now, I can finally get fucking plastered. Ooh, 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 a little secret. I stole someone's clothes. Have fun walking around nude now, you little bitch. Alright, well, I guess I got enough money, so I may as well come back with this guy. This, uh, eccentric looking individual. Get out of here, Terry. I will not miss you. There's an abandoned building just down the way here. My friends and I are playing some cards there. I just stepped out for some air, but you should join us. Oh, well, that's awfully nice of you. Game of cards sounds wholesome in the middle of the apocalypse and, uh, trying to survive and all that, so, uh, well, first let's see what your deal is. Uh, too expensive. Oh, well, but I'm sure with this lovely game of cards that we can perhaps gamble some winnings. I'm sure absolutely nothing will go wrong. Alright, what's your deal? This looks like some weeb shit. What the hell is that? That wasn't a lead into a joke or anything. It was just not that strong. 